CP the franchise creator of Knicks Fan TV <laughs> joins the program. CP, great to see you. Let's start with OG Ananobi and the big news. Five years, $212.5 million deal. What do you make of the contract? Moose and Figgy, great to be on with you. Five years, uh, a whopping deal for OG Ananobi, but something that I expected. His deal also comes with a player option in the final year, as well as a trade kicker. So the Knicks definitely took care of OG Ananobi, and how could you not? He came to the Knicks uh, on New Year's Eve last year and immediately showed impact with this team. They won 87% of their games when OG Ananobi was in that lineup, 20-3. and three. He transformed this Knicks defense and Showed you a lot of offense, not just as, in a, as in an efficient three-point shooter, but also showed you some talent in the mid-range game and attacking the basket, especially in the playoffs. And so for the Knicks, this was a guy that they could ill afford to lose after having dra traded Emmanuel Quickly and R.J. Barrett to get him from the Toronto Raptors. Yes, yeah, CP, what was your opinion of the cost that it took last night to get Bridges? Well, at this stage in the game, Figgy, this is the move that the Knicks had to make because they were going to be at a crossroads where when it came time to re-signing their free agents and looming, it, it was that second apron in the collective bargaining agreement, which would hamper the Knicks' ability to upgrade the team in the future. So many people knew that now was the time for the Knicks to make that upgrade. It just no one knew who that player was going to be. And ultimately, yesterday, a blockbuster trade was announced with Mikal Bridges joining his former Villanova teammates. And now you have Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, and Mikal Bridges. These guys have won a championship together. They know what it takes. And you cannot discount the chemistry that these guys are going to be bringing to this Knicks team. It's going to be electric at Madison Square Garden. All right, CP, let's look at the center position. Obviously, Mitchell Robinson's still there. Isaiah Hartenstein's a free agent. The expectations are the Knicks are going to lose him in free agency. How big of a loss will that be for the Knicks? It's a tough loss for Isaiah Hartenstein, who uh, certainly earned a pay raise this year. He stepped in when Mitchell Robinson missed 50 games as a starting center. Him and Jalen Brunson, they had great chemistry in the two-man game. Isaiah Hartenstein, defense, rebounding. He was there for the Knicks, even unleashed a nice floater, a guy who has a high IQ and can play make for the Knicks. And so he's going to be sorely missed. The reports are that the Orlando Magic and the Oklahoma City Thunder are the favorites to sign him. So for the Knicks... Uh, they will have Mitchell Robinson. They do have Jericho Sims. I'd expect the Knicks to look for a center in the draft to add to uh, the, their core here. Maybe a Zach Eady out of Purdue or Darren Holmes from Dayton could be some names to watch. And then on the veteran minimum market, there could be a guy who the Knicks may have on their radar. Maybe it's an Andre Drummond returning home. Yeah. Do you think the Knicks match up better right now with the Celtics? Is this as close as they're going to get? Or can they bypass them possibly? I think they're very close, Figgy. I think they're close. This is a wing league, and the Knicks ha now have two premier wing defenders. They've added more shooting efficiency over the years since adding Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo. Miles McBride has taken a step up as a player from a shooting perspective. OG Ananobi, Mikal Bridges. The Knicks now have shooters that they can surround both Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson with. Their defense is going to be stout, and they still can maintain their rebounding edge. And at at the end of the day, guys, they have Captain Clutch. His name is Jalen Brunson, one of the most clutch players in the NBA. The Knicks have a championship caliber team, and they'll be ready for Boston come opening night. CP the franchise. CP, it's great to be a Nick fan. It is great to be a Nick fan. Moose, let me tell you, man, I was at the Subway Series last night as a Yankees fan watching Garrett Cole throw junk after junk. <laughs> and after uh, Aaron Judge hits the grand slam was at the same time when the, when the Bridges announcement was made. So it was pandemonium at City Field. And uh, as, as you said, it's, it's, it's a great time to be a Knicks fan. CP the franchise, creator of Knicks Fan TV. CP, we appreciate you. Thanks for the time tonight. Thanks again, guys. Anytime.